You have got no idea how excited I am right now. This is literally a deepgasm time. I'm serious. I just can't stop grinning. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to a brand new series on the channel all about my journey with an Ultimaker 2 3D printer. It is 3D printing time. Yes, 3D is on the Geekanoids channel. I am super excited. This has been about five or six months in the planning. The reason I didn't bring it to you earlier was because I didn't have enough time to dedicate to this and I wanted to share with you my journey with this 3D printer and different models to build, different materials, how you can use it for different applications and I even want to get into a bit of 3D modelling. I'm going to treat this as a real journey for me and I hope you enjoy coming on that journey too. Now the Ultimaker 2 was delivered probably about three or four hours ago I was sort of really worried, I thought it was going to take a lot of setting up, but it comes with a really nice user manual that guides you through step by step how to get the printer up and running. It's actually running my first print at the moment, and it's just super easy. I was expecting it to be so, so much harder. It runs pretty quietly, you know it's there, uh, not a lot of smell really, it's printing PLA which doesn't give off too much of an odour. When you print with different materials you might need more ventilation in the room but for now it's running along really nicely. I'm going to share with you throughout this video the process of this first build as well, the first sort of print and uh, oh, I'm just amazed, I'm almost lost for words. It's not often that in a video I haven't got much to say but wow I'm just super excited. Preparing to print. It is so exciting. <laughs> it was actually relatively easy to put together. Not that you had to really put it together, you just had to um, sort of uh, just attach a few bits to it. Mm. It's almost halfway and then it should spring into action. And you know what, when I started this printing, I thought, yep, yeah, it's just gonna print a little 3D object, I'll set it going, go and grab a cup of tea, but I am mesmerized by it printing out this little Ultimaker robot. It's looking absolutely awesome. OMG, I have got a 3D printer. Now I must give a big shout out to Ultimaker GB as well, big thank you for them helping me out. This is not a review product, this is a purchase, it's something I've invested in. Now Ultimaker were very very kind, they sent me a couple of extra rolls of uh, PLA filament, they sent me a gold colour, they sent me the orange and blue which I think comes with the machine anyway, I think you get one spool of filament with the Ultimaker too. And I'm just really excited to start experimenting now. And I'm going to bring you lots of different projects. I want to actually give 3D modeling a go myself because not only do I want to share my experience of printing sort of pre designed models, I want to use 3D printing to educate people and also to try and make a difference. And what I mean by that is that you can use these machines for prototyping. And I want to try and link up with somebody, not straight away, but once I become more experienced with 3D printing. And I want to be able to start developing and modeling 3D objects that can actually make a difference to people's lives. Maybe they've got a disability, maybe they need something that will make a certain 
thing that they perform every single day a lot easier and that's definitely something I want to explore in the future. That comes somewhere down the line in this video series but for now I think this is almost finished printing. Let's take a look and see where we're at with the little Ultimaker robot. Now you can put an SD card in here, this is how you get your prints to the actual Ultimaker 2 and once you've done the initial setup which involves levelling the glass heated bed you load the filament in the back which if I just show you around the back you can see the roll of filament on the back you feed the filament through this tube following the instructions on the display and the display guides you step by step on how to set things up that was amazing it's like a, a built-in sort of setup wizard and then once you've done that it says you're ready to do your first print and I wanted to select the Ultimaker robot as my first print and you can see it printing away there this is the very first print on the Ultimaker 2 absolutely amazing and then down on the display here as well it gives you a time remaining so we've got two minutes remaining on this print and then just to the right here you've got a control dial and this you can rotate to make menu selections you push it in as well which acts as like an enter button and it really is as simple as that a very compact machine as well I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this but it's very very compact very well made I love the styling I love the fact it's all lit up as well I love the illumination in it which is done by two strips down this front edge and they push the light back into the sort of print area it just looks amazing so it's almost coming up to finish this I can't wait to show you how this turns out so it looks like it's just finishing off the very top of the little Ultimaker robot it's just filling in the top there and then it should finish and I'm assuming the bed will then drop down to the bottom so I can actually get the little model out oh wow this is so exciting look at that now when it has finished I'm gonna to have to have a quick read of the instructions just to see whether I remove it straight away or whether I let it cool down a little bit and whether it's just gonna peel off the bed so this is just gonna be so cool And there it is, it is finished. And you can see on the display at the front that it says printer cooling down. So it's actually cooling down 190 degrees centigrade. I think one of them's probably gonna be the print head temperature, the other one's probably the bed temperature. I'm only guessing that at the moment because I haven't read about that. And there he is, there's the little Ultimaker robot. So I've just removed the first print from the Ultimaker 2 and it's sitting just there behind me. Can you see the little blue robot on my laptop? Let's have a look. There it is. Wow, look at it. It is awesome. Look at the detail on this. And I haven't cleaned this up or anything. This is just straight off of the printer. And there he is, the little Ultimaker 2 robot. I just love it. Look at it. Look at the detail. Wow. And then let's just have a look at the bottom. So this was what was actually on that glass bed. It's pretty flat, pretty smooth. I just cannot believe the detail on this. It is so, so good. So as you can probably tell from my excitement, I am just geeking out over this 3D printer. There's gonna be so many more videos coming up on 3D printing on the channel. So please make sure you stick around. Hit like on this video, subscribe, share a link to it, share my enthusiasm, and tune in for another 3D printing video really soon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.